You see, fake drug is such a bad news. It is mass murder. The evil of fake drugs cannot be compared with any. But unfortunately, the world is not giving it enough attention. As evidenced by the fact that, as I speak, there is no harmonized definition of counterfeit drug. Every country has their own definition. How can we carry out the fight with that kind of uh, behavior or situation? There is no question that Professor Dorothy Inkim Akunyili, popularly known as Dora Akunyili, was an adorable woman and understandably so because of her unparalleled accomplishments as a pharmacist. This is due to the way in which she brought sanity to the drug manufacturing industry in Nigeria when she served as the Director General of National Agency for Drugs and Food Administration and Control, NAVDAC, from 2001 to 2008. Even in death, Akunyili has earned the respect of many, both at home and abroad. And these could be attested by the number of awards she did receive at national and international levels. It was these great achievements that won her the portfolio as a full cabinet minister in both President Yaradua and Jonathan administrations. In this video, we shall take a look at the life and times of Professor Dora Akunyili, her educational career, the battles she fought as the Director General of NAVDAC, and her role as Information Minister during the dark days of the Umoru Musa Yaradua presidency. Dora Akunyili was born Dorothy Inkem Edemobi in Makodi, present-day Benue State, on the 14th day of July 1954 to Chief and Mrs. Paul Young Edemobi, but was brought up in Nanka, Anambra State of Nigeria. Her educational career began when she passed the first school living certificate with distinction at St. Patrick's Primary School, Isofia, Anambra State in 1966, and the West African School Certificate with Grade 1 distinction in 1973 from Queen of Rosary Secondary School, Onsuka, both in Nigeria. Akunyili earned her first B Farm degree in pharmacy in 1978 and her PhD in 1985 from the University of Nigeria, Onsuka, UNN. The Egghead enjoyed many academic awards and recognitions during her lifetime. Professor Akunyili kickstarted her pharmaceutical career as a hospital healthcare provider from 1978 to 1981 at the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital, UNTH, Enugu. Afterwards, she worked as a graduate assistant at the College of Pharmaceutical Sciences, UNN, from 1982 to 1986. In the university system, she advanced steadily from lecturer 1 in 1986 to senior lecturer in 1990. She was transferred to the College of Medicine, UNN, in 1992, when she was appointed consultant pharmacologist in 1996 a position she held until April 12, 2001. Akunyili was also part-time lecturer at the West African Postgraduate College of Pharmacists Lagos, Nigeria from 1992 to 1995 because of her love for teaching and nurturing young people. As a scientist and scholar, she presented more than 20 research papers at various local and international scientific conferences and published a book and 18 journal articles. Professor Akunyili supervised both PhD and master's candidates at Namdi Azikiwe University, Oka, and the University of Nigeria, Onsuka. Even as the Director General of NAVDAC, Akunyili was able to supervise six postgraduate students at the College of Medicine, UNN. She was also an active member of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. In 2001, President Olusha Gomba Sanjo decided to name me Director General for NAVDAC the name of Akunyili came up easily. Opposition and protests were raised against Obasanjo that the Minister of Health, Professor ABC Nwosu, was from the same Anambra state as Akunyili, and NAVDAC, a powerful agency under the ministry, should not be aided by another Igbo from Anambra. It was further claimed that the marketplace for fraud and non standard products was dominated by Igbo merchants, with Onicha, also in Anambra state, a major center for illegal industry. Nevertheless, President Obasanjo adamant in the course dismissed the findings and appointed Akonyili. She continued to do an outstanding job and was widely recognized as one of the most reliable public officials in Nigeria's history, praised locally and globally. Akonyili had lost her sister to a bogus insulin injection in 1988 
and that was undoubtedly the motivation she needed to fight these drug barons mercilessly. Once she resumed office as the Director General of NAVDAC in April 2001, Akunili declared the eradication of counterfeit drugs and unsafe food a top priority. Before her appointment as the Director General of NAVDAC, fake and non-standard food and drugs were sold in Nigeria without any form of regulation. On March 17, 2009, as the Federal Information Minister, Akunili coined the phrase, Good People, Great Nation, which she said would help to promote patriotism among Nigerians. During the dark days of the Umaru Musa Yaradua presidency, Mrs. Tura Yaradua, Michael Aondwaka, then Attorney General of the Federation, and some other members of a purported cabal held the country to ransom while President Yaradua was lying comatose in both Saudi Arabia and Nigeria. Akonyili, against all odds and out of a sense of patriotism, stuck out her neck at the Federal Executive Council meetings to call on her colleagues to declare Yaradua unfit to rule. All of them but Akonyili felt that they were loyal to the late president, not Nigeria. She was labelled a traitor and an ingrate for daring to ask them to do what was morally and judicially right. She stuck to her guns and ignored all such calls. In April 2011, Akonyili ran for election as the senator representing Anambra Central for the All Progressives Grand Alliance ABGA but was defeated by Chris Ngigi of the then Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN. On July 13, 2013, a strange occurrence happened to Akonyili. The professor was preparing to travel to the United States to receive an award on the following day, her 59th birthday, when she fell ill. She was physically weak with a lot of pain. However, she was determined to go on the trip to America and it was there that a new diagnosis was made. Alas, Akunili had cancer. She became seriously ill and there were fears that she might lose her life. Her last public appearance was at the National Conference in Abuja in 2014 where she was a delegate. Pictures of a vulnerable Akunili immediately flooded the internet. My name is Professor Dora Akunyele, a delegate from Anambra State. I am convinced that Nigeria should remain as one nation after 100 years, despite our challenges, because our common values overwhelm our differences. Apart from our long history of togetherness, We've also enjoyed many decades of intermarriages and mutual coexistence. On June 7, 2014, Professor Dorothy Dora Akonyili died of uterine cancer in India. She was 59. Akonyili was a devout Catholic who was survived by her husband, six children and three grandchildren. She was eventually buried in her husband's birthplace in Anambra State. A pharmacist by excellence, Dora ruled where men trembled, especially in the fight against counterfeits and fake drugs. Former President Gulag Jonathan succinctly described her as a distinguished Nigerian and a loyal citizen who would be sorely missed by those she had been associated with. Professor Dora Akonyili was a recipient of many awards. In fact, during her lifetime, she received 820 awards. In 2016, two years after her death, husband discovered 110 more awards packed safely in her boxes, bringing the total to 930. No other Nigerian has won more. Among them was the Person of the Year 2005 award by Silverbed Communications Limited, Award of Excellence by Integrated World Services also in 2005, and of course, Time Magazine Award in 2006.